One of my favorite parts of Nerdum is the hypothetical questions, like who would win a fight? Uh, Hulk versus Superman, Batman versus the Punisher, things like that. So I ask you, the people that watch the Doomcast, uh, who your epic battles would be to summon the people that you would think would be great champions. And damn, did I get a lot of good responses. So I'm going to start a regular feature here on the Doomcast called Epic Fight Club. The first of those episodes is happening right now, with a great suggestion from Jay Logsdon, at Iowa Iron on Twitter. He threw out Dazzler vs. Black Bolt vs. Angar the Screamer. Yes, that's going to be a crazy match, and we're going to talk about it. I'm Epic Summoner, and your host, Dan Umpton. Welcome to the Doomcast. <laughs> This is a really, really, really good comic book matchup, and I'm not aware that this has ever actually happened in comics. However, they're all Marvel characters, so it could easily happen. Two, to understand truly epic battles, you have to understand the context of the characters. So, let's look at our contestants. Up first is Dazzler. She's a character that was created in the early 80s as, no shit, a cooperative attempt between Marvel and Casablanca Records to create a fictional disco star. Yes. She's a mutant who was introduced prior to the Dark Phoenix saga. Tom DeFalco and John Romita Jr. wanted to style her after Grace Jones, but the record label decided that they wanted her to look like Bo Derek, so they made her a white girl. Her powers allow her to turn sound waves into weaponized light. So that means blinding flashes, glittery shit, but that also means the sound wave is strong enough she can turn it into a shield or essentially a high intensity blast, something like a laser, or holograms, or flight. Actually, she's basically a sound based Green Lantern. And that's why her fighting Black Bolt or Angar the Screamer is so freaking nuts. Black Bolt, the king of the Inhumans, is one of my favorite characters. He's able to fly, he's able to generate bolts of lightning, he's incredibly strong, and he pretty much laughs off any kind of damage for the most part. Or he could, if his main power wasn't <laughs> a voice that shatters mountains. Yes, a laugh from Black Bolt could kill a city. A whisper could demolish buildings. He's silent because the upper limit of his power, a scream from him, would straight up scar a planet for millions of years. Think Black Canary on speed, but also on more speed. Angar the Screamer is a D-list hippie punk dirtbag who's got vocal powers nowhere near Black Bolt's level. Although he has a way more metal name. Uh, but he does dress like he fell out of the village people's first draft. He can cause hallucinations and disable people's memories. Yeah, he's definitely a hippie dirtbag. He effectively fought Daredevil multiple times, and his powers are uniquely suited to Daredevil's weaknesses. But, Dazzler also has two other powers that I need to mention. Uh, one, she's pretty well a sound sponge, so even Black Bolt's screams are just gonna make her even stronger. Two, uh, she can't die. Yeah, um, just after the events of Secret Wars and A-Force, she just should just get killed and then come back. I don't know how to explain it, and I don't think she does either. So basically, in technical parlance, Angar the Screamer's punk ass is straight up chooched. His ass will scream, but Dazzler will blast his nuts in half with a sonic disco light or something like that. Sorry, moccasin fringe vest. You're headed to Valhalla. Black Bolt is another story. I'm thinking Dazzler might be one of the few people in the Marvel Universe that could actually fight him to a standstill, so think about this. At the end of the Incursion storyline in New Avengers, Black Bolt barely beat Thanos, and that was when he opened his vocal throttle to, like, frickin' 11, and damn near cut New York City in half. That's Thanos, though. Uh, one of the realest dudes in the game. Pretty much anyone else in Marvel is damn near German blood pudding if Black Bolt decides to scream at them. But Dazzler's powers would suck that sound in and then project it back out as a blast. And the harder Blackagar, yes, that's actually his name, went at her, the harder she'd dish it out. It would create an inhuman mutant feedback loop that would end up peaking very quickly, and ultimately it would push both of them to their very limits. So at the very least, I'm thinking standstill if Dazzler doesn't outright win by KO. A more badass use of this combo would be offensively, as a reaction to some kind of world-ending threat. And you think about it, Dazzler is basically using all of the destructive power of Black Bolt's voice to double the impact and make a concentrated razor-thin beam that punches its way through pretty much anything. Uh, it's like a mutant sniper rifle that can blast a moon in half. It's badass. This has been the Doomcast Epic Fight Club Edition. You've got an epic match you want to see discussed? Tweet me, at the Doomcast. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.